one of my favorite quotes by Marion Williamson is like, our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness that scares us the most. We are all so powerful and we all have that light inside of us that can illuminate the way and create positive change. But most of us are playing small. Quite frankly, I don't think I'm playing at my full potential yet. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely slowly getting there one step at a time. But if I am completely honest, the vision that I see for myself and where I am now, I'm not there yet. I'm very far away. Um, I'm grateful for everything I've been able to experience and do and create. But the vision is huge. And I think if most of us are honest with ourselves, where most of us are probably playing it small. And I think it's that radical honesty that can take us on that journey of one step at a time, getting again to that self-actualization. The reason I'm doing the shape of a pyramid, because it, our logo has it as well, is like that Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's like the more actualized you are, like once your basic needs are met, you realize you're here to serve. And if you ask most people who have attained financial wealth and they're honest with themselves and realize that no matter how many boats and planes you have, that's really not what happiness is all about. Like you can just get in that vicious cycle of more, more, more things, more. I have no problem with things, by the way. Like we're here living in a material world. We can enjoy them, but it's about not attaching your self-worth and self-value to the material possession and real possessions and realizing that at the end of the day, if we're honest with ourselves, we're the happiest when we are of service. We're the happiest when we feel alive. We're the happiest when we feel like we're here for a reason, when we have some purpose and reason to wake up to in the morning. So that is part of the journey of that self-actualization is realizing what are you here to serve? Like what, what is your purpose? And once you can step in that authentic vision of yourself and you doing it, no matter how hard, quote unquote, or challenging that situation is, you're going to feel alive. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel joyful because you are aligned with your purpose. And when you don't feel that way, you have to reassess. Because oftentimes your body will tell you when you're not aligned, whether it is the wrong relationship, whether it is the wrong job, the wrong city, anything that is not aligned usually will not feel right. And when you're aligned, it feels right. It's simple as that. 